Okay, so this week for my story time, we're going to be talking about the ghost of the old Hope Church. That church is not there anymore. They rebuilt and so, yeah. But this is the ghost of that old church. So I'm going to start it out with one um, one night. We were having like what was it, a family reunion. This is my mom, barely in the video. <laughs> um, I think it was a family reunion because both of my cousins was there and they used to have this long hallway where you'd go down like this and they had the two bathrooms and then you'd go down a long hallway and then they had the um, Sunday school rooms. So everything was dark back there. We'd go past the bathrooms and then down that hall, we, <laughs> Connor sneaking in, down that hall we would dare each other to go and you know see how far you can go you know kind of thing. So we'd run and say, okay, I dare you to go and touch this door. Or I dare you to go and touch the back door, which led to the cemetery. So we were doing that, and one of my cousins ran down there. And when he did, I saw two things come out of the wall. Not out of the doors, out of the wall. One was black, one was white. And they came out like this at the same time. And they were following him back. And I was like, oh my God, Weston, run! And so he runs back, he's like, what's going on? I was like, turn around and look! And they had these two things that was just following. We left and did not go back down that hallway that night. So that's how I'm gonna start it out. So, Mom, would you like to add on your stories that you know about? Mm, they had an evangelist there and they stayed in the evangelist quarters. At the time, they had a place where the evangelist would sleep. And she had heard all kind of stories about this church, and so she put a chair under the doorknob to block anything from coming into the kitchen, which led to the evangelistic quarters. And in the middle of the night, they heard the biggest racket, and they went and looked, and that chair was pushed into the kitchen, and nobody was around. So that was weird. She didn't like sleeping cool. in that place. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, um, the, the death angel? Yeah, one night in church, pastor's wife saw the death angel come out the back door of the church down the center aisle and stop at the third bench. And that week where she stopped, the man that she stopped by died. So she had seen that. So it was warning them right. that that man was about to die. And then my wow. cousin, he's a minister. He was in the uh, Hi, Kara. He was in the office one day studying for church that night and he heard footsteps come and stopped at his door. He got up to look and there was nobody there. And then mom didn't want to believe all this even though she's been hearing this all her life <laughs> that this place was so haunted but then finally one night she was in the nursery. How'd that go? I was taking care of the kids for Sunday school in the nursery and the back door of the kitchen opened and there was never no one that entered. It opened and closed and nobody came in. So she even ran to the back door to make sure that nobody, yep. you know, went outside and there was nobody outside either. Yeah. So. It was spooky. I know they had um, one of the pastors that was there. They were praying before service one night. Do you remember what that spirit told him? He was praying and all of a sudden, like, he just heard this voice talking to him saying that my name is something. But it was like horrible like it shook him so much that he went straight to his office and and googled the name you know to see what it meant and like he was saying that he was here here before him and he wasn't gonna leave and you know he couldn't get him to leave and that kind of stuff you know so they had a, a big prayer about that what about the the one where they cast out that demon the sawdust thing remember when I was a kid they um they had this demon in this woman and well, it was a woman right I don't know, I was so young, but they wanted all the non-believers and the mm -hmm. kids and kids. stuff like that to leave. To leave out. We had to go to the kitchen and stuff in the back because, you know, if we didn't have faith enough or didn't really understand what was going on, then the demon could jump into us. So we all had to go in the back, but they were praying for... I remember the story about that happening, but I don't remember how it went. I know it happened twice. One of them slithered like a snake, dropped down to the floor and slithered like a snake. Was Remember? A guy. That was oh, a guy. Was, that one was a guy. Okay, but the other one was vomiting up something that looked like sawdust. 
Was that the one that? I don't remember how that went. There was a female, maybe. Years ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but still, all this happened in that one church. Mm-hmm. But um, I thought there was another another thing that you were mentioning yeah. earlier. I don't remember what it was. I know preachers would hear stuff. Mm-hmm. You could always feel stuff that are not like holy stuff. I mean, you know, you had your your services and they were like really awesome, but you knew something was there. <laughs> it was always something there. So it was pretty cool. Like if you would stay at night and you know you tell these stories and Spooky freak each other night. out. <laughs> yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> and then that back door that led to the cemetery that was really that was really cool because like. I dare you to go touch it. <laughs> what if it flies open and then it's a cemetery and it's night? You know, whatever. But yeah, so that's my story for this week. Mom really didn't want to be on camera, but that's why she was just in the corner like that. So I hope you enjoyed my story. This is the old Hope Church. It's not there anymore. So I'm going to put in a little picture for you to see what it used to look like. But I hope you enjoyed this story. Bye, y'all.